Hello my darlings, I hope you're all doing very very well. In today's video I am of course doing another Tattoo Enthusiast React to Tattoo TikToks. This is my absolute favourite series to do, this is your favourite series to watch. I just want to say thank you so much to everyone that does tag me in tattoo related TikToks. Without you, this series would not be possible at all because my For You page at the minute is basically, as always, dogs, chicken tenders, <laughs> pizza and just other random stuff to do with like Real Housewives or something, I don't know. So yeah, this series would not be possible without you at all. Before we take a look at the crazy side of tattoo TikTok, I'm happy to announce that this video is sponsored by Aura. Have you ever Googled yourself and were shocked to see that your personal information was exposed on those public listing sites? There's obviously a lot of information about me online due to the nature of my job and I'm okay with that, but my super personal information I am not okay with at all and I don't think anyone should be. I'm super conscious of my internet safety, I always have been. I'm a kid of the 90s so I grew up knowing about all the dangers of the internet and what can go wrong and how to keep yourself safe. Especially protecting myself from scammers. Scammers are getting a lot more craftier these days, they are a lot more convincing and sometimes it really is hard to figure out what's real and what's not. Did you know that data brokers are making an absolute fortune selling your personal information to people that want it, like scammers, robocallers, spammers, and others that want to learn information about you, like where you live. Or it can identify data brokers exposing your info and submit opt-out requests on your behalf. Brokers are legally required to remove your info if you ask them to but they make it super hard to do so. So let Aura handle it for you. What I love about Aura is the fact that it's super easy to set up and you also don't have to download several different apps to do several different things because everything you need, Aura has. From things like parental control, VPN, password management, and so much more. You get everything at one affordable price and all in one place. Let Aura do the hard work of keeping you safe online so you can focus on other tasks with a peace of mind. Stop data brokers exposing your information. Go to to aura.com forward slash treacle and see if your personal information has been compromised. That is aura.com forward slash treacle to get your 14 day free trial. I just want to say thank you so much to Aura for sponsoring this video. Now let's see what TikTok has in store for us today. Okay, you sitting comfortably? Are you cozy? Do you have your snacks and your beverages? Yes? Okay, great. Yeah. You thought you had seen some good shit? <laughs> Watch this. Ow. <laughs> We're gonna do something real special. Leg cats. Mm -hmm. Tried it out. Brought it to Walmart. People don't fuck. <laughs> People see this baby, they're gonna be like, holy shit. You must have had sex before. <laughs> Maybe I should straighten out a little bit. <laughs> kind of feeling like we should go to Burger King after this. Yes. Huh? Go kick it. Show off them legs. I've always liked pants. Uh oh. I fucked the bird up. Do we do when it doesn't go well? We say fuck it, go to hell. No, oh, everybody loves a fucked up bird. Oh wow, oh, that looks so cool. cool. Hold it. Woo! If you didn't have sex before, you're having it now, baby. <laughs> oh, I don't even care if that bird's fucked up. It's real fucked up, though. This, like, kind of over. Everything else on the leg is looking fucking hot. I'm gonna get pants. I'm not going sleeves. I'm not that normal. Fucking right! Wait, I forgot to take the glasses off? I forgot to take no. the glasses off? What just happened Oh, here? no, I've done that before. <laughs> yeah. Removing the bird. This ugly piece of shit came with some pack that I ordered. We're gonna chop it up. All the plastic here on my leg. You like it? Did it hurt? It was yeah. pretty good. They did a good job applying that minus the uh, first mistake. But it's so easy to make. I have done that so many times when you leave the plastic on. But I love their personality so much. It's so fun experimenting with temporary tattoos. I could do it all day, every day. I highly recommend playing around with temporary tattoos if you're not sure if you want to be heavily tattooed or not. Instead of just diving in and getting a ton of tattoos and then thinking, hmm, Heavily tattooed life isn't for me. Honestly, highly recommend faffing around with temporary tattoos. I've done it before. I put some on my hands way before I got my hands tattooed to see if I liked the look of having hand tattoos. I also did one on my neck. Why is messaging a tattoo artist for an appointment so humiliating? Maybe this is just a me problem, but why do I always feel like such a loser for asking them to do their literal job? It is their occupation to draw permanent doodles on so the true. skin. So why am I over here like, hey, <laughs> just wondering um, if I could give you like a few hundred dollars to like, you know, scratch my skin with a needle for a few hours and leave a permanent mark there. Probably, 
probably a stupid idea. Probably really dumb. I don't know why I asked. I have this design that I drew myself. Probably the worst thing you've ever seen. Probably. I, I wanted to put it in this spot, but I know nothing. I was just wondering what your availability looks like as well as your hourly rate. But like, if you don't want to tell me, it's fine. Like it's, I can, I can leave you alone. Never speak to you again. That's awesome. Honestly, I should just be able to do it myself, right? Like why did I, why did I even ask you? Waste your time. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'll just, bye. <laughs> I obviously uh, don't want to diagnose them, but that sounds like anxiety to me. <laughs> That's exactly how I feel sometimes. It is kind of nerve wracking emailing tattoo artists, especially if you have never contacted them before because you don't know, like, you just don't know how they're going to respond, right? If you've gone to a tattoo artist a few times, then you know everything's cool, right? But it's that, oh God, am I annoying this person kind of vibe, you know? Or is my idea stupid? I fully understand that apprehension and fear. But if you don't ask, you don't get kind of vibes. So you kind of have to do it, right? <laughs> Entire back tattoo removal. No. That back is gonna feel so spicy. Stop, that's so much real estate. Oh my gosh. I can't even imagine how much that hurts and how hot that must feel. And then the healing, oh my God, healing laser is just gross. There is copyright music used for this, but I wanna show you this because I have been tagged in this on Instagram as well, like a ton of times and people have been like, can you test it out? So I will eventually try and get my hands on it. It's kind of expensive, I think. Depending on what you think is expensive, I don't know. But the last time I looked, I think it's like over $200 or something, which, you know, for what this is, I could probably just get an actual tattoo, you know? So yeah, I'm having to mute this. Um, but it's basically a tattoo printer. It doesn't give you an actual tattoo. It kind of just stays in your skin or something. But it really looks fun and you can also use it on clothing and stuff. So you just prime the skin and you turn it on and then boom, you have a, like a little cute tattoo. And that's some kind of balm or something. I really wanna like, play around with this it looks really fun so yeah let me know if you'd like to see a video of me trying it out kind of thing i don't know color tattoo on melanated skin oh yes please show me oh that's gorgeous oh my gosh i love that that looks really really freaking good it says in the caption so happy with how this turned out it took four hours that is beautiful oh i'd love to see it i really wish to see more content like this honestly point of view trying to get rid of my tattoo so i don't have to go through more laser tattoo removal sessions what are you doing? What? What are they doing? I think it's one of those micro needling things and then they're using a Cetaphil or however you say it. What is it? I can't see. I'm not sure what that cream is. I mean, they're using a derma roller and I think that's the roller that has loads of like little spikes on it and stuff and they're kind of mushing in this cream. I don't know what cream that is. But <laughs> I think it's best just to leave stuff to the professionals. I don't know. I mean, is this safe? I don't, I don't want to comment on it and say this isn't safe or it is safe because it, I don't know. It's Cetaphil, so it can't be that dangerous, right? Because you put it on your face, I don't know. <laughs> what made you get so many tattoos? <laughs> no! <laughs> oh no, we can't be doing this. We cannot be putting this out in the atmosphere. <laughs> I'm sure it's true for a lot of us. I'm sure there are people out there that definitely get tattoos because of emotional damage, but there are people out there that don't, okay? Like, let's not put this information out there too loudly for all the tattoo haters to hear. You know, I get them because I like art and I like expressing myself. Let me know why you get tattoos. Why do you get tattooed? I don't know if I've ever asked this question before, but do you have a reason? Let me know your reasons. My boyfriend just got a full back tattoo? of his cousin what and now i look fucking crazy because i'm like why did you get another girl tattooed on you and he's like babe it's my cousin relax bro she's not even fucking dead this girl is alive and well what um i don't know if this is me being naive or not like do call me out on this but what if they're just like really close cousins you know like when you grow up with your cousins and stuff and you have family events and like i don't know like Cousins are like the first friends you have basically, right? But there's there's this comment here that says, who's gonna tell her? And then there's this one that says, they used to play house for real. And then this one says, girl, she is not his cousin. <laughs> and then another one says, actually break up. 
maybe I am missing the point here, but like a part of me thinks, oh, that's probably really nice and wholesome. And another part of me is like, wait, hang on a second. Is this incest? <laughs> Story time have you ever gotten a tattoo from a legally tattoo blind artists. person? Um, because I have, and here's the story about that. So I'm gonna take you back a few years. I had just graduated and my mom wanted to do something sweet for me for my graduation. So she was like, hey, I will get you a tattoo. Like, you know what? You've been wanting one for so long. Um, I will take you to get one. We'll be a little mother-daughter date. That's so sweet. So we decided to both get tattoos. My mom wanted to get this like really dainty, um, fine line cross on the back of her neck. And I decided to tattoo my entire sternum. Meanwhile, this is my first tattoo. I don't know what I was Brave. thinking. I had not done enough research. Um, I'm a newbie at this. And so I pick this random shop. My mom and I drive four hours to this shop. And like, of course, I'm all pumped. I'm all excited. I've always wanted to get tattoos. So I was, just, I was ready. I was prepared. I was so excited. We show up and this is the most hole in the wall, sketchiest looking shop I've ever seen in my life. And it was pretty much like in the middle of nowhere. Like there was no surrounding shops and stuff. It was just this little tattoo shop. I was so excited. I thought nothing of it. I was like, you know what? I don't care. Like it's going to be fine. It's going to turn out great. So I called in. Um, I made an appointment a few days prior and it was going to be with this guy. I'm not going to name him, but I go to check in and I'm like, hey, my mom and I are here for some tattoos. And he like checks us in and everything. We're signing a waiver, you know, getting a copy of our license, you know, saying that we're of age, whatever. And then he brings out this form and he goes, I have to tell you ladies that I am legally blind without these glasses on. And these were thick glasses, like very thick. And he said, um, I have to have you sign this consent form um, that acknowledging that I am legally blind and you're allowing me to tattoo you. I said, Sh sure. Who cares if you're legally blind? Tattoo my whole stomach. I don't know. In my defense, in my mind, I was like, okay, there's no way he would have a tattoo license if he like genuinely was like super blind and couldn't tattoo. So I gave him the benefit of the doubt. I was like, okay, homie may be blind, but he's still got talent. So my sternum tattoo is a like floral lotus mandala type thing with a bunch of beads going down, right? We do the tattoo, right? He does the tattoo, all goes well, um, whatever. And then I get home and I'm looking at the picture I gave him and I'm looking at my tattoo. My tattoo is so blown out and scarred, it's not even funny. To this day, you can feel the entire outline of my tattoo. I've had many tattoo artists like look at it and they're like, you are so badly scarred, it's insane. I can't say I've ever heard of someone having to sign a consent form because a tattoo artist is legally blind. That's a new one for me, but it's kind of interesting. And it's not something I've ever actually thought about, like blind tattoo artists, etc. I know there are incredibly talented blind artists out there that can paint beautiful images and artwork, etc. But I've never thought of a blind tattoo artist. I'd imagine it would be possible, but... Mm. I'd imagine there is a few things that could go incredibly wrong, mainly stuff like the stencil and, you know, line work, etc. But if you were going to a blind tattoo artist or a legally blind tattoo artist that might be just visually impaired or what have you, if they did their own unique style of artwork or what have you, and it's kind of like abstract, etc. I could imagine it would look pretty good. And I'm sure if a legally blind tattoo artist had an assistant to help them with things, I'm sure it could go pretty well, right? But anyway, the uh, caption says, disclaimer, you can be sight impaired and still be an amazing artist. This experience was not bad because he was sight impaired, but also because of his uncleanliness technique and my overall experience. It was also the most unsanitary shop I've ever been to. And after asking multiple artists about the experience in depth, he was extremely uncleanly and I did get a minor infection after, ugh. You probably should have just led with that, to be honest, you know? Like, I feel like there was a lot of emphasis on the fact that this tattoo artist was blind or visually impaired and not about the actual serious dangers when it comes to being unclean, etc. That's obviously the most important thing when you're getting tattooed. Of course, the end result is also very important, but you don't want to be going to any unsanitary tattoo studio or tattoo artist because that could 
cost you your health or life. Hey, I'm boxing my back I'm tattoo. Be unboxing my new tattoo. What? All right. Uh, yeah. So currently we are on like the tech ouch, oh, like the ten session. Ten session. My artist told me we will need like twenty sessions in total. Jeez. So I think maybe we got like um like eight more sessions or something. That's a lot. Yeah. Anyway, what are you doing? This is painful to watch. No, <laughs> there we yeah. go. That's probably oh, the, the best way to go about it. Uh, oh, I know that's not fun, yeah, but anyway. You can see, like, I have a... I did a snake. I did a snake on my back. Like, initially, I wanted to do a dragon, but... Like, my tattoo artist told me, like, the dragons were out of stock. So, we just did a snake instead. Yeah, doing this session was quite painful. Every hour kind of felt like... Like, 60 minutes-ish. So, yeah. I don't know. Another eight more sessions till we're done. Anyway, yeah. Thanks for tuning in. Okay, well that was interesting. I'm more fascinated by the fact that they called it unboxing their tattoo. That's freaking great. I'm now going to use that from now on, I swear. I'm so glad they didn't have a second skin on there that they were about to peel off. And it was just cling film or saran wrap, whatever you'd like to call it. So it was an easy removal. Let's see how these hand poke sprinkles healed. They are gorgeous. I'm obsessed. Ooh, I really, really, really like them. I love them so much. They're just a fun take on freckle tattoos, in my opinion. And they really blend in with this person's actual freckles as well. I think that's adorable. And honestly, if I wasn't all about covering as much as my body as possible with, you know, tattoos or images that aren't, you know, freckles or sprinkles or whatever, I would totally get something like this. You don't put bumper stickers on a Lamborghini. I am not a car, Facts. but I do have one thing in common with a Lamborghini. You'll never be inside. <laughs> the absolute truth holy hell i am so using that from now on when someone is like you don't put bumper stickers i think it was kim kardashian weren't it? and she said oh you don't put bumper stickers on a bentley mind you kim kardashian would definitely be inside a fucking bentley so she's not a good example but you know what i'm saying if someone actually says that to me i'll be like well okay but like you're never gonna be inside a bentley so go away Okay, oh, wait, it's the person from earlier. Oh, I should have actually investigated to see if they had ever posted their sternum tattoo. But this is the person that was talking about the blind tattoo artist. So I'm excited to see um, what it actually looks like. So I did not expect that video to blow up. Um, but here's the tattoo reveal. First off, um, y'all are mean. I don't care if you like my tattoos. I like them, so I really don't care. Also, for all the people asking, this tattoo is of Edgar Allan Poe, okay? Have you ever taken it a literature like class? Edgar, so. And I dug through the depths of yeah. my old Pinterest to find you the exact reference photo I showed the artist. Okay, so this is the reference photo that I showed him. I loved how dainty all these dots were. I, I loved it. I said, I want something like this. And this is my tattoo. Yep, that's my tattoo. Um, it you is can very, see very heavy. is so messed up. It, I, ugh, it's so bad. You can kind of tell from here um, how scarred it is up in the lotus. Ooh. But here is a better photo that you can yeah. see all of these raised areas. It's it's mm -hmm. it's scarring. It's so bad. And I've had multiple artists look at it and they're shocked at how horrible the scarring is. Um, yeah, that's yeah, that is very badly scarred. That's probably one of the worst scarring situations i've seen with a tattoo that isn't a cover-up that was on untattooed skin beforehand you'd normally see something like that if a tattoo artist is going over scarring or a very bad tattoo for like a cover-up so yeah that tattoo artist definitely did a number on them point of view oh, oh no yeah, okay tattoo. i'm sorry this person pisses me off so much and like but it's in a good way i can't explain it so what this creator does is like um point of views or scenarios or whatever the main thing that they do is the indie girl in films or the pick me girl in films 
or the socially awkward girl in films, etc. They do it so well, it's irritating because you watch it and you're like, oh God, you're so right. And now you can't watch any indie rom-coms ever again because you notice characters like this. So I do highly recommend you check out their profile and watch their stuff because it is good. But anytime I see one of their things, I'm just like, oh God, it's gonna be so accurate. Like, I don't know how they do it, but they nail the characters that they're trying to portray. How many this do point I have? Of view, you've um, just asked a man about his tattoos fucking, and instantly like, regret I it. I don't know. Like, how many freckles do you have, right? <laughs> it's kind of like the same vibe. Sometimes I will just go down to the parlor, um, the tattoo parlor, and I'll say, I don't know what I want, but I know I want something. And then I'll riff. I'll riff with the tattoo artist and we'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. I um, had a really good idea recently. It's actually uh, a tattoo that's just my name, but it's written in my mom's handwriting, but then it's tattooed onto my body by my dad, right? So it's an ode. Do you know what ode means? Okay, cool. I was just checking. Um, I, this one I actually stuck and poked myself with um, a bird's feather that I found on the side of the highway. It did get pretty infected, yeah, for sure, um, but we did get to th keep the hand, and that's all that matters, right? I've lost the most feeling, but it does look sick. It's just so accurate. The stuff they do, I mean, oh my god, it hurts because it's so freaking accurate. I've definitely had conversations like this before with men. I'm telling you. I'm telling you this is fact, okay? What is that? No! It took me a minute to figure out, like, what was happening here. What in the prison tattoo is going on here? I mean, if it makes you happy, you do you, boo, okay? You do you. You do you, okay? No! Oh, the slime. Oh, that's gonna smell so bad. What is that on them? Because that's not cling film. That's like film on plastic. The hell? Oh, 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 oh God, I can feel it. I can actually feel that pain. Oh, swell bow. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, I feel, I'm getting like goosebumps. Like, this is awful. Okay. Oh, soap, I'm guessing. Soap, soap. Okay. I mean, that is a good blackout tattoo. Like, that is... Okay. That is saturated. Ew. Why are we doing this? God. They're, like, not wincing at all. I would be like, oh, you bitch. But they're being a champ about this. I'm like fascinated by this and I don't know why. What okay why 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 are we doing this slime thing? It's a bit weird. I don't understand this. I, I don't understand what we're doing here. Why we do why are we doing that? Okay, I'm bored. I'm not gonna lie, I'm bored of watching this person wash their arm now, but that is a good blackout tattoo. <laughs> Today I got a new tattoo, and right after I got that tattoo, I went to the store to get some aquaphor, and a woman walked up to me and asked me why I would get this tattoo. And I took a deep breath and I said, well, if I'm being honest, I have a pact with my inner child to never lose my ability to wish or dream. Oh. And what I see here is a bundle of wishes where other people may see a bundle of oh. weeds. And because of that pact, because of that decision that I've made, I live a life that I love instead of a life that I'm forced to live. And she looked at me, starting to tear up, and she said, you know, I'm older now and closer to death than I've ever been, and I've lived my whole life afraid to die. But talking to you, I feel like I've lived my whole life afraid to live. And at that point, with tears in my eyes, I said, you're never too old to live. And she asked me if she could give me a hug, and I said, yeah. And we parted ways. And in that moment, I couldn't help but feel like I gave that woman an opportunity to love the rest of her life. So if I can share that opportunity with you, 
Keep a pact with your inner child. Dream, act on those dreams, and love the life that you live, because life is way too short. We're not here forever. Why is that so sweet and so wholesome and so freaking precious? Oh, I needed to hear something like that today. And that's such a good way to go about life. Just take every day as you can. And obviously, I know from experience, every day it can sometimes be a goddamn struggle. You know, whether you're chronically ill, mentally ill, any other thing that could be holding you back. I know it's so hard. But that's such a precious way of looking at life, you know? It was really nice. I obviously did not get tattooed in the order that the society, the tattoo society standard of the council of holy doctrine. Like, was paying for it and going through all that pain not enough? Like, that's literally earning it. You pay for it with money, and then you go through the pain of getting it, and you're like, now you have it, you earned it. Like, <laughs> bro thinks he can, he doesn't even know that he has to climb to the top of Mountain Tatasuvius, cross the bridge to Tatuia. Yeah, but not before answering the riddle, cause then you can't cross. Then you have to ring a bell. There's a book, there's actually a fucking book you can sign your name in. At that point, you're good with tattoo culture. You're good at that point. I know exactly what this person is saying. By the looks of things, obviously I can't see the whole of their body. To me, it looks like they have a, what has been named the Warp Tour tattoo which is basically neck hands and face basically anywhere that's visible if you're wearing a lot of clothes there is this old school tattoo mentality of the fact that you have to earn your tattoos you have to get tattooed everywhere that isn't visible before you can get tattooed in visible places which i don't particularly agree with i do believe that you should get at least a few tattoos in less visible placements to start off with so you know how to heal a tattoo you know the tattooing process you know that you enjoy getting tattooed because if you get your first tattoos on your hands, your face, your neck, and you don't like getting tattooed, you don't like the healing process, you just don't enjoy it, you end up having a very visible tattoo out in the open for everyone to see for potentially the rest of your life unless you get laser. And that obviously can lead to a huge amount of regret. It also can harm what you do for your career. And while yes, tattoos are a lot more accepted nowadays, in a lot of industries, they're not. In a lot of countries, they are not. So to go so extreme to start off with is, it's ballsy. At the end of the day, it's your body, it's your choice. But if you want my advice, I would highly recommend not going visible to start off with. Okay, I'm gonna react to one more for this video. So my tattoo was one of the reasons why I had to quit my last nursing job because my tattoo was deemed offensive offensive and if you're new here i'm going to show you my tattoo but just be careful that you might be offended there it is Stop here's it. my tattoo my only tattoo my cats this is my supposed offensive tattoo you're kidding. and i have talked about this before about how i got reported for my tattoos and at first it's like haha i got reported for my cat tattoos whatever but then it happened twice and that's too many times and my biggest pet peeve with nursing is that people just can't mind their own business they just can't if you say something that they don't like or you have a tattoo that they don't agree with, they will take you down. And I work in pediatrics and my patients love tattoos because it's just art. And they're terrified to be in the hospital. So if they see someone with like a cat tattoo or a full sleeve, they're less scared of you, honestly. And it's just so annoying in nursing where I'm just so focused on keeping my patient alive, but I have to deal with this battle on the other side where someone is reporting me for my tattoo for being so offensive. And you know what? I'm just going to get more tattoos and more tattoos. So, pucker that up. That is insane. I can't imagine ever complaining about someone's tattoos that are of cats. Okay? Cats. Not offensive. When he said offensive, I thought, oh, great. It's going to be, like, racist or homophobic or transphobic. Something horrible. No. It's of two freaking cats it's not even an elaborate tattoo it's not even huge or incredibly detailed or even that noticeable fuck whoever freaking complain about this person like they said they're there to do a job 
their tattoos should not matter to anybody because they're not hurting anyone. They're not offensive. It's of two cats. You know, like they said, the children in the hospital love them tattoos. I can understand why. It's freaking adorable. Okay, anyway, that is it for today's video. I just want to say thank you so much for being here, hanging out with me, and also a huge thank you to today's video sponsor, Aura. And until my next video, bye.